Governor Lou Leon Guerrero, Guam People for Choice, Bureau of Women's Affairs, Femalo and Rights, and others came out to protest Senator Talena Nelson's Bill 291 36. The Guam Heartbeat Act of 2022 is modeled after the Texas Heartbeat Law, which seeks to ban abortions when a heartbeat is detected during a sonogram or ultrasound. Governor Lou Leon Guerrero. I don't support it one hundred at all. I just don't. I don't support it at all. I think uh, legally, I don't think it would muster any uh, constitutionality in the courts. Anyone who is not a government official or employee can file a lawsuit with the Superior Court of Guam or District Court of Guam against any person that performs an abortion after a heartbeat has been detected. If someone violates the act, they could pay statutory damages of no less than $10,000. However, mothers cannot be sued for having an abortion. It really penalizes women to the max. Uh, it's very vi vigilante oriented. It's like a bounty that is out $10,000 for somebody that, you know, rats on somebody. Um, it's just the total invasion of women's privacy. Speaking out at the protest yesterday was co-founder and district deputy director of Femalo and Rights, Stephanie Lorenzo. This is something that is infringing on women's rights. This is infringing on our bodily autonomy and our self-determination. So this is something that we need to stand up and, for, and to fight for. Governor Lou Leon Guerrero also expressed that when this bill is brought to her desk, she will be vetoing it. We reached out to Senator Talena Nelson's office for comment and did not hear back as of news time. Hannah Devonzo for KUAM News.